Hello everyone, Marin here for Lanfon. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am back with my last Lanfon video of the year, and we are going to celebrate 2023 a little bit early with some cute kitties, balloons, and champagne. So, those kitties are from Perfectly Wicked and the Addon. I'm going to use this blanket from Crazy Antiques to create a dance floor. We have the glass of champagne from Happy Wedding, a hat and the party blowers from Party Animal, one more cat from May Are You Doing, the balloons from Bicycle Built For You, the banner from Virtual Friends Addon, the Happy New Year greeting from Winter Wavy Sayings, I'm going to use the largest stitched rectangle stackable die, the snowy backdrop, the simple stripes diagonal backdrop, the smallest simple wavy banner die, the long stripe die from Picket Fence, and the Cheers scripty world. So let's start with the coloring. I stamped my cute images using Lonophone Jet Black Ink. As always, I used the coordinating dies to cut them all, and I'm going to use my alcohol markers to color everything, and today's color palette is gold, grey, and black.
So now let's bring the foil machine. I cut a piece of black licorice cardstock as well as some gold foil and I'm going to use the snowy backdrop to add foil details to my background. Obviously this die is not a hot foil plate but we can use regular dies to add foil details to our projects and it's super easy. I also have the plates that come with the machine and I placed two extra pieces of cardstock between those plates. I tried with only one extra piece but the foiling was not precise enough so I added a second extra piece. The idea here is not to cut the panel, we just want to add a golden print on the paper. So in my case, two extra pieces will do the job without cutting the panel, but depending on the thickness of your extra pieces, you might want to run some tests with only one extra piece if it's very thick, or three extra pieces if they are thin. So I have everything I need. Now let's wait until the second light turns green. And here we go. I can put the die on the machine with the details facing up. My piece of foil flipped over on top of the die. Next, my black licorice panel. And then the plates and two extra pieces of paper. I press the button and wait until it's solid green. And once it's solid green, I can disconnect the system from the base and run it through my die cutting machine back and forth to make sure that I get a nice gold impression on the panel. I'm putting the system back on the base and I'm adding more pressure on the plates with my hands. Now let's remove them and see the result. Beautiful, love how shiny it is. But foiling doesn't always turn out perfect, especially if you use dies that are not supposed to be foiled, so you might end up with extra foil at some places. But you can use the Tombow Mono Sand Eraser to get rid of those small spots. So off screen, I trimmed my piece of paper into a 5.5 by 4.25 inches panel. I also cut the simple diagonal stripes to make the floor as well as a thin stripe to add a nice finishing touch to that floor. But those stripes were a little bit too tall, so I kept them all together using washi tape. I put them at the two and a quarter inches mark of my trimmer and I cut the top part. And now let's attach them all on the lower part of my gold foil panel. Now, before assembling everything, I'm going to stamp the second part of my greeting on a wavy banner. And to stamp it more easily, I kept the banner into its original spot using washi tape. I'm adding powder to make the paper anti-static. This way, the embossing powder will stick to the ink only. Now, I can stamp my greeting using a Lanfone clear embossing ink. Next, some gold embossing powder on top of the ink. And finally, I am melting the powder using my heat tool. And when I heat emboss a greeting or an image, I always heat the paper at the back first. And then I do it on the front. I find that it gives a prettier result doing this way. And now it's time to assemble everything on the panel. Let's create our fun and festive little scene. I die cut the word cheers out of gold glitter cardstock and I layered it on vellum. And I'm using 2mm black foam squares mostly, as well as glue dots and liquid glue at some places.
and we are done. I added highlights on the images as well as dots on the balloons and banners. And now, if we listen closely, I think we can hear Happy New Year wishes while the glasses of champagne knock together, the party blowers make strident noise, and the music play, maybe celebration by Cool and the Gang. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a very nice day and see you next time. Bye.